So yeah, we, we, we apologize for, for that, you know, we were missing a match, you know, but you, you wouldn't really matter that match anyway. I do like how they're pushing Dolph Ziggler, but this match was like, really wasn't worth it really. Just the fact that Kane came back was... And he's still out of shape, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> So the, the last match was between, you know, three stages of hell. Y'all really got to do this? <laughs> Didn't come close to any other three stages of hell, but the bosses, son-in-law, Big Nose Triple H versus the prodigy of WWE today. Rand Randy Orton. <laughs> First match, the normal match, Triple H get himself disqualified using a chair. Then second match, falls count anywhere. Yeah, two minutes later, falls count anywhere. Triple H gets the pin with a pedigree on the floor. Then came the stretcher match. It wasn't even a stretcher match. It was just Triple H getting old for like the whole match. Yeah, it was just Triple H getting beat up through all things. He even got beat up in a fist by Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 that's, that's, that's proving, proving that, that Triple H win in a fist fight. Yes, cannot win in a fist fight. If you remember that, if you remember the Elimination Chamber when he went up against Taker, he needs to learn. He is not a good fist fighter. No, he has to use it. He couldn't even use it because he's getting beat down by Taker. Yeah. So in the end, you know, Triple H, uh, he basically comes out and he's, he's, he had like a hidden hammer <laughs> on the stage. He pulled it out of the stage, hits Cody Rose and, and Ted DiBiase. But unfortunately, Randy Orton <laughs> picks, takes the, he takes part of the stage off and smacks Triple H with it. Triple H loses, but he gets the last laugh at it. Unprotected yeah. hammer shot to the back of Randy Orton's So in the end, Hunter doesn't get his belt back. Thank God. <laughs> you, know, you, you know you want to know what 13 times Triple H does? Hell no. 13 times Triple H? Look, as far as I'm concerned, I don't mind him getting the belt back, but not as quick. Oh, he comes back, and then he gets the belt back. Okay. You nail the boss's daughter, you have all the privileges in the world. Yeah, let's just put it like that. It's good to be the boss's daughter. Would it? <clears throat> yeah. The title, but he didn't lose his big nose. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, we, we just having fun on this one, people. <laughs> yeah. But, um, overall, guys, um, I gotta say, we will give the bash a 7 out of 7.5. Yeah, that, that's if you're not me, because if you're me, you give it a five-ish. Michelle McCool winning is enough to against knock off five Malina. points. In against Rick. Molina. I mean, you can, when you see your spine cage sticking out, that's not good, folks. <laughs> and she's Maybe representing the women on SmackDown. Yeah, that's five. So, everybody, you know, that's, that was... <laughs> that's Jamal, that's our friend. But... Next up. So next up will be Victory Road. Victory Road. Well, we will be doing a review on that TNA. for TNA. Yes, we do watch TNA for all you haters out there. TNA? What's that? I never heard of it before. It's TNT. <laughs> Total non-stop promo. So, other than that, guys, we... we we had a, we had, it was fun. We had a, shut up, man. We had a good time um, with the bash, um, and we had a good time with this review. Um, but once again, this is my burning kid, and Oakland '93, and Javon, then Dead Nine Four One, and we just saying, uh, stay tuned, keep it real, and uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, that was cool, guys.